All right, welcome back everybody. What is up? Hope you're all doing great. Let's just jump into it. Uh, this is video 67, I believe, of the multiplayer inventory component system for Unreal Engine 5 that we have been working on for like half a year. Uh, let's get it finished. I'm gonna record a couple of videos today and hopefully we should be able to uh, finish within the next couple of weeks and I will be able to upload a few weeks a week or something. We'll see. Uh, thank you to all of my patrons. I love you all. Big, big, big thanks. You're making my life a lot easier so that I can keep smashing out videos. Thanks to all of my subscribers and likers and all of you out there for watching. Thanks to everybody. Uh, let's jump into it. Uh, in the last video, we set up uh, the costs for the items so that we can actually buy and sell and sell. Uh, so this is cool. We shouldn't be able to drop, I guess, when we're in here. There are some kinks. There are some stuff we need to fix. Um, First, the price is not represented here correctly. Also, let me see. Yeah, that's. I don't think this is going to work. No, exactly, because we haven't set that up yet. So let's do that. So in the merchant inventory, uh, on drop. This one. We need to fix this little rascal. Uh, create item amount widgets. Let's add another variable. To merchant. To Merchant. In instant is editable, expose on spawn. Go back here. And in this case, it's going to be this. We're going to go to the event graph. Mm. Uh, construct. And this here to merchant. Yes, no, this is not the best way to do it. This just started out like this, then I added this, then I added this, then I added this. I wasn't originally planning on doing a merchant and doing all of this storage stuff. So that's what happens. We'll probably exchange this to an enum later. Uh, but in this case, we will change the text to sell. Just see if that works. Sell. Perfect. Uh, and also, if I have this, I go into the chest, I have this. So we should remove the drop function, I guess. There are some things. We should remove the drop function when we go into the store. And the merchant. Wait. That's a cell. This is what we want to change. Also. Uh, uh, 
Merchant drop slots. We don't need the merchant drop slots. Merchant inventory. Create item amount widget to merchant. There we go. Sell. Perfect. And obviously that doesn't work because we haven't added the functionality. So let's add that as well. Uh, so from storage to storage. Uh, let's add another one. To merchant. Sell item to merchant. Gonna copy this, gonna copy this, drag up there. Remove from parents. Let's see if that works. We have two, one. 300 gold, we sell two, it goes to three, and it goes up by each amount. So that's perfect. So now that is working as well. Lovely, doubly. Perfect. Update merchant inventory for each of the items. <coughs> We create one of these, which is the child, and 105 is the default, so that is not updating. So update merchant child's current item in loop, item amount, item name. We also need this one, price text needs to be up changed. Item cost. In the merchant update merchant child function. That's better. Yeah, and I'm losing money as I do this. Okay, perfect. Mm. Curved sword. Why is this one called Circle Sword of Darkness? This is obviously not a sword. Uh, but fine. Seems to work. Seems to work. I don't have enough money. And no errors. Okay, so the merchant is coming along nicely. Mm. Okay. Let's go into the item details. So, we only have consumable, let's do like this. Mm. 
should probably wrap this in like a box. Value. Whatever color you want. this value float make this text a variable call it value text Text, grab the item value, mm. Oh wait, that's in the inventory slot. Uh, on mouse enter, on mouse leave, show item details. I'm gonna grab the item cost. We will also get your pawn, get component by class. Get the inventory components, item value. Multiply. This like so. So we do the same calculation here for the value. So buy price is a hundred. When I hover over, the value is seventy. And that's also how much I get when I drop it. So that is nice. I can grab. We should probably have some details there as well. We should probably have some details here as well. goes to four and those can't stack but they should probably stack inside of the merchant mm.
Uh, let's see if I skip this. In the merchant inventory, I can skip this stack thingy. Because everything should stack in the merchant, I believe. Oh, wait. The other way around. Uh, we should always so if the item mm. So if it can stack, we just increase it and we update it. Not sure if that's causing any issues, but let's plug in self there. So, current item in loop. So if it's already in inventory, why doesn't it stack? It should stack if you like. We're not checking if it can stack. Ah, yeah, because it's max stack we're checking for. So we're checking if the current stack is less than max stack. So let's skip that check. There we go. So now they always stack in there, but if I buy two, They still appears too. That seems to work. What else do we need to add to the merchant? I mean, that's pretty much it, right? Yep, let's pause the video there. A short one once again, that's very nice. Uh, I'm gonna figure, I think, if there's something else I need to add to the merchant, but otherwise I feel like we're getting there. I still need to, I promised I would add like a save function for the inventory and some other stuff, so I will also think about doing that, but we are nearing the end. So I think this will be good enough for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.